वेलकम ऑल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट रिसीविंग एंटीना इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी जस्ट डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द ट्रांसमिटिंग एंटीना ओनली बट हियर वी विल टॉक अबाउट द रिसीविंग एंटीना इन द जनरल केस इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द ट्रांसमिटिंग एंड द रिसीविंग एंटीना देन दिस बोथ एंटीनाज आर एग्जैक्टली सेम बिकॉज ऑन द वन साइड If the transmitting antenna have the responsibility to transmit the electromagnetic wave from one part to an another part, then on the another part here is a receiving antenna that will receive the electromagnetic wave that is being transmitted by the transmitting antenna. So both have the same functionality but the opposite actions. So this is how the definition part is. It says that it is defined as an antenna which is used. to receive the electromagnetic wave that is being incident on the receiving antenna so its major functionality is to receive the electromagnetic wave incident on it similarly since we know that an antenna is just like a transducer and what is the functionality of transducer transducer generally converts the electrical quantity into the electromagnetic wave here the electrical quantity represents the voltage and current quantities only so the transducer is nothing but a device that can capable of converting the electrical quantity into the electromagnetic wave and antenna will look like this transducer only moving on to next part that is similarly the receiving antenna works like the reverse transducer since the transmitting antenna works like a transducer so it will generate the electromagnetic wave from the electrical quantity on the other hand the receiving antenna works like a reverse transducer that is it will take the electromagnetic wave incident on it and convert it into the electrical quantities that is voltage or current so this is all about the reverse transducer or we can say that receiving antenna it receives the electromagnetic wave that is being incident on it and then it converts it into the electrical quantities like voltage or current so similar thing is written here moving on to next part that is but we know that the characteristic of the antenna remain unchanged in both the transmitting as well as receiving mode since these the receiving and the transmitting antenna are same that's why there will be no change in the characteristics and the functionality will remain same the difference between the transmitting and the receiving antenna is due to their actions only on the one hand the transmitting antenna converts the electrical energy into the electromagnetic wave on the other hand receiving antenna takes the electromagnetic wave and then convert it into electrical energy or electrical quantities so this is the basic introduction about the receiving antenna here is a concept that is the characteristics of antenna remain unchanged so we will prove it by the help of the reciprocity theorem that the characteristics of antenna remain unchanged in both the transmitting as well as receiving mode so this can easily be proved by the help of theorem named as reciprocity so this is very important theorem from the examination point of view so let's discuss it so here is the statement for the reciprocity theorem reciprocity theorem states that in a linear time invariant system the ratio of response to the excitation remains same even if the point at which the response and the excitation measured were interchanged so let's understand the reciprocity theorem by the help of a figures so there are two cases that are associated with the reciprocity theorem so let's discuss about the case 1 so here is the case 1 let me draw first figure so that you can betterly understand about the case first of the reciprocity theorem so here is the transmitting antenna that is being excited by the ac source and here is the ac source let me give it as name that is antenna 1 so 
सो दिस इज एंटीना वन एंड इट इज ट्रांसमिटिंग टाइप एंटीना ऑन द अदर हैंड लेट मी ड्रॉ वन एंटीना डेट इज नेम्ड एज रिसीविंग एंटीना सो हियर इज ऑल्सो एन आई सी सॉल्स एंड दिस इज ए रिसीविंग एंटीना लेट मी गिव इट इज नेम एज एंटीना टू एंड इट इज रिसीविंग टाइप एंटीना नाउ If it is a transmitting antenna, then it will converts the electrical energy into the electromagnetic wave and transmits this electromagnetic wave in this direction. So this is the direction of the transmission of electromagnetic wave. And here are the EM waves. And this EM waves will get incident on this receiving antenna, and this receiving antenna. will then again converts the em waves that is incident on it into the electrical quantities so this is how the whole phenomena works since we know that the transmitting antenna is being excited by the ac source so we can say that here is the point of excitation similarly we will get a response from this receiving antenna so we can say that it is a point where we will get our response now let's have a look again at this theorem so in the linear time invariant system the ratio of response to the excitation that is output to the input ratio will remain same that is response to excitation ratio will get same even if the point at which the response and excitation measured are interchange that is if we excite this antenna from this side that is here is the point of excitation and if it is a point of response then also the response of the ratio of the response to the excitation will get same only so this is all about the reciprocity theorem moving on to the case number first that is here is the point of excitation here is a point of response this is transmitting antenna this is receiving antenna so according to the case one if here is v of a that is emf applied at the antenna one then if v a that is voltage v of a emf is applied at antenna 1 then the em wave will flow from antenna 1 to antenna 2 so will flow from antenna 1 to antenna 2 now in this case we can say that it will produce a current ib here so it produces ib current now let us have a look at the case 2 so here is the case 2 here is the transmitting antenna sorry it is a receiving antenna let me give it as name antenna 1 and it is receiving type antenna and here is a transmitting antenna that is excited by the ac source let me give it as antenna 
that is transmitting type antenna now in the case 2 if the transmitting antenna is excited by the AC source then it will generate the electromagnetic wave in this direction towards the receiving antenna and this EM waves will get incident on the surface of this receiving antenna so if the EMF that is VB is applied to the transmitting antenna antenna 2 then the electromagnetic wave will flow from antenna 2 to antenna 1 so EM waves will flow from antenna 2 to antenna 1 so we can say that the current I of A will produce in this receiving antenna so it produces I of A current in the receiving antenna so according to the theorem of the reciprocity we can say that if the voltage V of A that is applied in this case is equal to the voltage that is applied in the case number 2 that is V of B if this happens then we can say that by the reciprocity theorem both the current will also be equal that is I of A that will be equal to I of B so this is the proof of reciprocity theorem by which we can say that the characteristics of transmitting and the receiving antenna will get unaffected even if the response to the excitation will get changed so this is all about the receiving antenna if you like my videos then do subscribe my channel and please hit the like button thank you